In this video, I will show how to use Spark to grow a starter molecule into a new space guided by existing ligands mapping a different region of the same active site. In the Spark wizard, I will choose the ligand growing option to guide me through the experiment setup. Prior to this experiment, I aligned two P38 kinase protein ligand crystal structures. These structures had ligands accessing different regions of the binding site. Each ligand in its aligned orientation was saved separately as SD files, and the empty pocket was saved as a PDB file. The first panel asks me for the ligand that I want to grow. I will open the 3K3I ligand and click Next. The following panel asks me to bring in a structure of the ligand to grow onto. I will browse and choose 3ROC. In the panel, notice that the weightings for the ligands are different. The starter ligand contributes 20% to the score, while the ligand I'm growing onto gets 80% of the consideration. After clicking Next, I will decide where I want to grow my ligand from. Looking at the 3D view on the right-hand side of the wizard panel, I can identify a position on the fused ring of the 3KI ligand. I will click on the appropriate atom in the 2D structure, a hydrogen is placed for the attachment point, and this is highlighted in the 3D view. Clicking Next opens the attachment point conditions. I will leave this without any conditions as we will establish a condition based on the fragment database to be searched. Next, I can load a protein structure. I will load 3ROC empty, import it as a protein, and then click Finish. Now I will tell Spark where to look for bioisosteric groups to grow onto the 3ROC ligand. In the Crescent Reagents, I will find the thiols database where the sulfur was kept. This was derived from the eMolecules reagent collection. This collection gives me a few thousand R groups to search, all of which are commercially available. I will click Start and let the experiment begin. When the experiment completes, I get a set of suggestions that have sulfur as the linking group. I have a few of the hits set as favorites. Each of these have a similar structural motif as the ligand from PDB2YIS, which Pfizer put forth as a COPD candidate. If I want to order any of these reagents, I can scroll across the results table, find the e-molecules ID and the tiering information. If you have any questions or would like more information about using Spark, please contact support at crescent-group.com.